another fucking glitch. What a shit show. Everything's ready. Switching back on already. Lewis! Oh, Robo. Calm down. He'll tear the equipment apart. Wendell Antonowski ran away and Lewis is in the hospital. What did you do? Just stand there and watch it as it happened? I want to see her. She's in surgery as we speak, so that's not going to happen. Instead, you're going to go through with your psych evaluation. Let me go. The old man wasn't happy well, that I Well, I, 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 I guess I'm going through this again. I make sure you attend this one. Especially since the problem of you malfunctioning is obviously persistent. So, doctor, do your thing. What? Now? He's in no shape to be examined. I'm afraid that I must insist. This is highly unprofessional. I need to apprehend Wendell. I don't think you understand your options, Shiny, in that you don't have any. You either comply or you'll be dismantled. I'm only really rooting for one of these options. Very well. Doctor? If this is supposed to resemble a therapy session in any way, I need everyone that isn't my client to leave. That is not negotiable. And is it necessary to have him restrained? That's for your safety. What if he loses control? <sighs> exactly. If anything goes wrong, just use this reset button. One press, and he goes back to La La Land. Okay, let's leave the good doctor to work. And Robo, see me after this is over. I'm sorry it has to look like this. Are you at least sitting comfortably enough to have this conversation? I need to find Wendell Antonovsky. My partner was shot, and I need to find the person responsible. You do. But I think you'll agree that you should be in the best shape possible to undertake that task. I understand this is not an ideal situation, and this is probably the last place you want to be right now. I'm not the only one unwilling to be here. Your heart rate is above 120 BPM. You're equipped with a heart rate monitor? I imagine it comes in handy in your line of work. It does. I agree this whole thing is happening rather fast, but we are both professionals at helping others. So how about we start again? My name is Dr. Olivia Blanche. Naturally, I've heard people refer to you by different names, but I'm curious to hear which one you prefer. I am Alex Murphy. My name is Alex Murphy. Then I'll call you Alex Murphy. I've worked with many police officers that have gone through traumatic experiences. But I think we can both agree that you are no ordinary police officer. How do you see your situation? I am a cybernetic organism. A fusion of both the remains of the policeman Alex Murphy and this high-tech armor. So we can't rule out that your actions are influenced by your human part. But that's something that I've already learned from the reports. What I would much rather hear is how do you perceive yourself? Perceive? Yes. See, what I found immensely helpful in working with my patients is transparency. In order to help each other, we need to be able to see each other fully. Okay. This is how I see myself. Thank you for making this step. Now that you see me the way I am, do you wish to push the reset button? Your heart rate remains high. No, not at all. It's actually my secret that is making me nervous, not yours. You're not the only one here with prosthetic body parts. It vibrates. This hand. You must have wondered what happened. It vibrates. Some time ago, I was a victim of a crime. A thief broke into my house. He made a lot of noise and my neighbors called the police. Yeah, this is the part and that where I think they break the lore cuz I don't think it I don't think Ed 209 was actually put out as a program. Moments later. Since that day I have become, let's say, a little leery of machines. Like they were going to put them in the service, but the only ones that we see are the 
is the one that gets thrown down the stairs. Do you fear me? I fear the unpredictability that machines bring with them. So when I heard there was a chance to contribute to the research on the stability of OCP's mechanical units, I jumped at the opportunity. I hope you don't find it unprofessional. Getting that off my chest made me feel a bit better. How about you check my pulse now? It has dropped below 120 BPM. You see, I don't just impose things onto my clients. I practice what I preach because it seems to work. I think that makes for a very promising start. Thank you, Alex Murphy. All right. I think that's what I did before. Yes, 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 I know this part. This is a motherboard for my gun, so it can gun better. I know that OCP can be a real pain in the ass, but this might change your mind a bit. We've been working behind the scenes on giving your sidearm the treatment it deserves. The Auto 9 can now be equipped with a motherboard. Once the motherboard is in, you'll be able to mount a number of processors on it. Each processor can vastly improve your aim, damage, or stability. See for yourself. I didn't realize that it didn't save, you know? But here we is. I like this 18%, but I don't know where I can put it where it's going to be better. Well, I could put it here, and then it'll be beneficial. No, because then it'll power this negative 10. God damn. So for this, I need just north and south. Is there just an open up and down one? That's the wrong sort of T-shape for what I need. Pass through. We'll do the 15 here. So then we get more gore, which is always fun. Then I can just put a dead end that works. No, I can't. 
I can put in the wrong L shape so that it I get it, but it's not triggering the 10. Yeah. And that's a pretty strict upgrade right there. Be on the lookout. There's OCP tech in everything. You wouldn't believe how many useful processes can be salvaged from old devices. Yes, yes. Okay. That's it for me. Becker wants to see you. He's taking over Reed's office. Say what you want about the man. That takes guts. Any news on Louise? Not yet. But she's been through worse. I mean, yeah, she was in RoboCop 3, so that's that's pretty much worse. No co-ed shower scene? Okay. Verhoeven liked to put those in his movies. Because there's one in RoboCop and in... Um, I don't care. There's one in RoboCop and in Starship Troopers as well. Murphy, do you have a minute? It's about Lewis. Yes, what's up? Did you say Lewis? Yeah. Me and a bunch of guys decided to sign this get well card for her. I figured that you'd want to sign it as well. A get well card? Yeah, I know it's... Does the card actually remove the bullet? Lewis would like that. I am sure she will appreciate that. Uh, thanks, Murphy. I knew you'd understand. Please show him signing the card like a printer where he goes across. Did you ask him? I think I need a break. It's that'll be cool. Understood. Are you Officer Kowalski? You are not. <laughs> oh, I, I didn't see you there, Murphy. What are you doing here, Officer? Nothing much, just trying to collect my thoughts. Would you sign the get well card for Lewis? I am supposed to get it signed and then pass it on to another officer. Uh, yeah, sure thing. That's a great idea. There you go. Signed. But could you pass it along to another officer? I, I think I'd like to stay here for a little bit longer. I was already going to do that. Understandable. Take your time. Thanks, Murphy. Kurtz hasn't signed it yet. He was in the locker room last time I saw him. Okay. Hello? You are in the shower. My heat signature recognizes that the water is cold. Is everything all right, Officer Kurtz? Oh, uh... Talking to me? Yeah, I guess I stayed here longer than I anticipated. I have a card to sign. It is for Lewis. Uh, uh I'd love to sign it, but uh, I don't want to get it wet. Uh, could you grab my towel for me? A uh, yellow one. Uh, it should be by my locker. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yellow towel by the locker. Bleep blorp. I have this post-it note. It is yellow. <laughs> I left a uniform in the locker with all the bullet holes nicely stitched up. Don't worry about it. Though if I ever again hear you call me a knitting ni a nana, you're going to be patrolling the streets in your underpants. Cat.
Ah, the yellow towel. There you go. Thanks. Just uh, give me a minute. No, we must see your balls. Yeah, signed. Uh, I think that it's beautiful what you're doing. You are shivering. Yeah, I was lost in my thoughts. Didn't notice that I used up all the hot water. Thinking about Lewis. Yeah, but I, I can't imagine what you're thinking. She's your partner. Speaking of partner, I see that O'Neill hasn't signed a card yet. Uh, be a good guy and get it to her, okay? Uh, she's at the range. She'll yell at me if she finds out there was a card for Lewis and she didn't get to sign it. I will make sure that happens. Okay. Hello, drunk take man. Hey, pig, it's a private party. Do you believe this guy? Say it again. Do it. How about you? Anything? Hmm? I thought not. Her little flailings were funny. My service weapon ain't calibrated right. I could perform a check for you. Yeah. Okay. Give it a go. They really, really want me to play the range. At least 15. I guess you don't have any problems with it. Sixteen. Your service weapon is calibrated correctly. Yeah, I guess so. What is the matter? I can't lie. I wanted to come here and blow off some steam, but my hands are shaking thinking about Lewis. Officer. It's just that if it happened to you, it could have happened to any one of us. Lewis is one tough cookie. She'll pull through, I'm sure of it. But I'm not so sure I could say the same thing about my partner. He's always in the cold showers all the time. It's weird. It is difficult. Is there anything I can do for you? You can sign this get well card for Lewis. Sure thing. There you go. <laughs> Almost everyone's already here. That says a lot about her impact on all of us. There's only one person missing, Sergeant Reed. He's in the garage. He's in the garage. Murphy, do you have a minute? I do. I noticed you running around the precinct. I am collecting signatures on a get well card for Lewis. I know. That's what I wanted to talk to you about. I ride everyone hard, and they probably see me as a drill sergeant. And maybe they think that I do it because I don't care. But I do care for each and every one of you. And what I'm trying to say is that I... I I'd like to sign that card. If you let me. No. We are a unit. You should sign it. Everyone's here already. Lewis, she made an impact. We've got to get the ones that did that to her. That is my intention. Right. Keep the card. She should get it from you. Thank you, Murphy. I've already almost leveled up again.
Thank you for this opportunity, Mr. Becker. Uh, you are very determined. I must have seen your application like 20 times. I assumed they were getting lost in the mail. Huh, that didn't stop you, did it? You're persistent and capable, too. Highest marks on all the written tests? Pretty much an ideal candidate. Aside from the fact that you don't meet any of the physical requirements, that's actually remarkable. Short stuff. Unfortunately, sir. Why is being a cop so important to you? My father was a police officer, and his father was one, too. A uh, police family, huh? It must be heartbreaking not to be able to continue a family tradition. You know, I have the power to look the other way and make you a cop despite your shortcomings. In exchange, I only ask for one thing. Your complete loyalty. And maybe a touch of gratitude as well. Will I still get a badge? Like a proper police officer? Badge? Oh yeah, sure. Then Officer Washington is reporting for duty. Good. There you go, youngin. Is... Is that blood? We don't make a badge for every new officer. We just reassign the old ones after cops retire. Or die. Robocop. I'm a big fan. Well, that's great, because you'll be spending a lot of time together. Meaning? He's Aside my new partner. His regular dispatch duty, Officer Washington will become your personal overseer. Mm -hmm. Overseer? Yes, you will report to me on his every action. Hopefully that will prevent him from continuing to tarnish his already murky reputation. His recent behavior casts a shadow on OCP, and we can't have that. That'll look bad for this quarter. Every other cop refused this post. But you won't. You wouldn't jeopardize your career, right? Uh, no, sir. I would like to proceed with my investigation. Now that we know that the new guy is Wendell Antonowski. Was he even listening to anything I've been saying? Absolutely fucking not. You're off the case. Actually, you're off all cases. There's a bunch of documents that need archiving in the records room. That's your priority now. Understood. Now go. I'll tell a I am going to be a robotic loose cannon. And go my own route like every 80s cop movie. Anybody has that stipulation, then they're probably in the wrong. Question everything. Uh, hi, Murphy. What seems to be the problem? Uh, Mr. Becker wants you to do some maintenance work, so, you know, please scan the server, see if they're operating properly. I'm sure they are, but he insists that I found a job here for you. Yeah, I wish I had something more exciting for you to do, since for me, this is where all the action happens. Explain. With this wealth of information at your fingertips, this records room should be a real hotbed of activity. Others don't seem to know how fun it is to dig through all this stuff. You can play a real life detective here. Officer Cecil, you are a detective. <laughs> yeah, but mostly just a paper pusher. So, if one wanted to find out the whereabouts of a particular criminal, what would one do? That's easy. Just check the computer in the back. Type in who you're looking for and see if there are any matches. Betcha there aren't. Uh, j just remember to scan the servers at some point. Mr. Becker will blow his top if I don't make sure you check them. I am detecting a malfunction. Huh? This server is compromised. Good thing you noticed it. It could lead to the loss of important data. I'll make sure Mr. Becker knows what a tremendous job you did here. Is it literally only the one? Looks like it. I'm telling you, this is incredible. Just type in your search. Not very helpful. I 
I don't understand. Because I can't go over there. I'm very confused. Oh. There it is. Never been charged? Well, that's hard to believe. There's a, a neat feature you can try. See who attempted to access this file before you did. Maybe that'll help us. Officer Briggs. Briggs? That must be the last lead that he checked before going missing. So his case led him to the Street Vultures territory? Hmm. Maybe those two cases are connected after all. I'll have to report this to Sergeant Reed. And I am on my way. There's nothing I can say to stop you, is there? No. No. Well, then instead I'll say, go kick ass for Lewis. I am a robotic loose cannon. We need to be on guard. OCP is trying to smuggle more of their staff into our ranks. You're right. I was looking everywhere for you. I wanted to say that this is an incredible honor for me. But, you know, I get the feeling you don't see eye to eye with Mr. Becker. I do not yeah, see eye to vision plate. I'm in, I'll do my best to assist you in any way I can. So, what are you doing here? I am going to Highland Park. Now, isn't that Street Vultures Turk? Correct. That is where the lead took Briggs. It could be connected to Wendell. Oh, man. That's exactly what Mr. Becker told me you shouldn't do. It, it's my duty to stop you. Is it even safe for you to go? I mean, think of yourself. You keep malfunctioning, right? What if something happens again? Hey, Murphy. I found this on the back seat of your cruiser. It's for you. I can't let you go. Uh, is there some sort of a command for that? Uh, Robocop, off. Uh... Robocop, stay. Hey, all cops have to follow rules. Especially you. Who gave him his old patch? You're a cop and a machine, so you can't go. Your systems won't allow it. Right? Wrong. <laughs> uh, Robocop? Robocop? Yeah. Don't do this to me. Not on my first day. I know you're listening. There is still time to stop and turn back. The street vultures are territorial and vicious. You wouldn't want to be caught on their turf. Especially I'll just shoot them. Thank you. 